also have a set of Ateco diamond cutters and we will be using this for our argyle. So if you don't have access to a set of diamond cutters, don't really worry about it. You can always cut them out with a rotary cutter or an X-Acto knife. Um, we also, speaking of such, we have an X-Acto knife, a sharp paring knife, a quilting tool. Now you can get a quilting tool at any sort of cake shop or anything else, but you'll notice this one's a little different. This isn't um, one that you might see in a cake shop. This is actually a pattern marking tool, um, which you can buy at a, either like a superstore or a fabric store. Um, and these, because they have the larger wheel, just have a tendency to, to work a little better. Um, so that's what I prefer. But you could, like I said, you could purchase that either at a cake specialty store or at a fabric store. I have a small acrylic rolling pin. Now you can use any kind of sized fondant rolling pin. Um, I'm just using this today because what we're going to be doing requires small amounts of fondant. Um, and finally, I have a paintbrush, which I will be using for um, construction purposes. I also might at some point get out um, a little ramekin of water, which will also be used for uh, construction. But I think for the most part, we're going to be using our royal icing today. And finally, we have our pattern. This is just for our placket on the front of our um, eight inch tier. Um, we will be using this to put together our snowflake motif. So now that you know everything that we're going to need for this project, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start on our pom-pom motif. Now, um, like I said, we have our little styrofoam balls, but the first thing we're going to, to do is figure out how long we need to be, make our ribbon because we will be attaching our ribbon to, um, to the pom-pom. So if you bring your cake over, you could use a measuring tape and all sorts of things, but I just kind of like to eyeball it. Find the center of your top tier, add about an inch, and then just kind of hang it and, and figure out exactly where you want them to be. And I want them to kind of hit sort of the middle bottom of that bottom tier. Add a little bit of extra to attach to your, uh, your ball, and then just cut your ribbon there. And you're going to need a pair of scissors for that, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention those. And then what I like to do is just make one a little bit shorter. So I'll measure against this one. Find a, a distance you like so that the balls will hang nicely between each other. I'm thinking about there. And cut it right there. It's not an exact thing. You've got to find what you like aesthetically. And that's all we'll need for this ribbon. Okay. Now this is where our super glue comes into play. We're not going to be attaching, eventually we're going to attach the ribbon to the stick, but first we're going to make the actual pom-poms and we'll do that afterwards. Um, so what we're going to do now, you will need your stick, is get your super glue out. Now this is a gel super glue, not a liquid. And the reason for that is it has a tendency not to spread as much and so you don't have to worry about it cross-contaminating. Now there's already a hole here, but if there isn't, you just want to punch kind of a little hole into your ball like that and what we're going to do is we're going to just put a very small amount of glue and a little bit goes a long way right in the hole make sure it goes down in there you don't want it coming out of the top and then all I'm going to do is take my ribbon and using my stick just kind of push it on in there where it's really gonna come into contact with that glue. And we're gonna repeat that on the other one. 